What's up now? So if you know about TTE Naughty and OTM Zay and KP and Pop Austin and things of that nature, people, then you should know that what? TTE Naughty got locked up a couple days ago, people. Now, this beef has went from him and KP and KP girlfriend fighting TTE Naughty's girlfriend. Their beef and all of that goes all the way back to, then it connects on to OTM Zay as well people but tt e naughty in jail for a firearm people he is a felon already and he has a firearm right now otm zay says before he got locked up before tt e naughty got locked up this last time he was texting him telling him to meet up with him so they could fight or whatever the case may be right but really tt e naughty wanted to harm him fatally you know, wanted to allegedly unalive OTM Zay. And that's why he was what? Caught with a weapon, allegedly, people, all right? Now, a law enforcement person that calls OTM Zay, right? On the phone and lets OTM Zay know when they arrested TTE Naughty. They went through TTE 90 phone and seen text messages on wanting to take OTM Zay's life, allegedly. So that's where that comes into play at, where TTE 90 was supposed to be what? Wanting to take OTM Zay's life, allegedly, right? And when that happened, when he got locked up, TTE 90, people are going to the internet and they're saying, hey, TTE 90 was set up. <laughs> He was set up, and it was either by KP, uh, uh, OTM Zay, or Pop Austin himself. So, somebody set the man up, right? Not insinuating that TT Naughty, he, does, he did this himself. No, no, no. They're thinking he got set up. And I'm going to go into why people think he was set up. We're going to get to that. Now, I remind you, OTM Zay says, he kept saying on one of his lives, that he is not a street dude. Uh-uh, he tries to what? Not get in the law's face. He wants to prevent. He's all about prevention of being in the way of some laws. You know what I'm talking about? Let's get to what OTM Zay has to say. Now, OTM Zay says he did not set TTE 90 up. So he had to come back, matter of fact, and make a whole live about people saying that he set TTE 90 up. But we don't get to why people are thinking that. Now, let's get keep going. So, like I said, OTM Zay comes out. He says, no, I did not set TTE 90 up, nor did Pop Austin set TTE 90 up. Because it's looking like people are saying Pop Austin might have set him up as well. So, OTM Zay says, he was followed. He's talking about himself. He says, I was followed by a task force after he leaves performing at a show. He did a rap show. He's a rapper. You know what I'm saying? He did a show, and he realized he forgot his ID at home, right? Or wherever he left it. So he left and went and got his ID that he forgot and got pulled over by some unmarked cars. All right? Now, he says three cars was on his ass. They told him to get out the car. He refused, da da this and that. Probably asked some questions like, what did I do? Why I got to get out the car? You know what I'm saying? So they keep telling him to get out the car as soon as he get out the car, talking about OTM Zay, people. Um, they put hands on him, he said. He said they put hands on me, trying to search him. And then later he said, yeah, I let him search me and the car. And they asked him about TTE Nighting. So he says, he says they asked him, why do you think he wants to kill you, allegedly? He tells them I thought this was some YouTube shit. He mad at me for exposing that he stole a liquor store. I don't think that was necessarily had to been said, though, as far as he was stealing out the liquor store. But we're going to keep going. But OTM Zay says bad. I thought this was going to stay on the internet type stuff. I thought this was what? I thought this was YouTube type, just, you know, fake stuff. But I don't think OTM Zay gets the, gets the memo that what you do and how you speak 
on this internet is not for play. It Whether you're playing or not, other people that you're talking about and talking to, so you feel like you're talking to over this internet tech type thing, people take that serious. So, yeah, this might not be the platform for you, OTMZ, if you're going to think that people are not going to take you serious on what you say. I'm just saying. But we're going to keep going. Uh, OTMZ live. He went live, and he is saying... T.T. Naughty is a felon. Remember when he went viral at the park pulling out weapons? You know what I'm saying? Uh, he says, man, them people have been watching T.T. Naughty since the beginning of February. They watching Pop Austin, KP channel. He said, they watching my channel, and they know everything. They know about T.T. Naughty trying to give his gun to O.G. Percy. You know, when he was on Pop Austin or whatever had you. And he's saying... Stop with all that shit about him setting T.T. Naughty up. Now, let me, let, how I take this is, let me tell you why people think that he set T.T. Naughty up, right? It's looking like that only because you was in tour with this guy, you and KP, and... Somewhere in there, I'm not saying they scared of T.T. Naughty, but I think they just wanted to get him out the way because K.P. was really, really happy. And shout out to both of those guys, man. K.P. was really, really happy that he was out of the way. Not necessarily that he in jail, but that he ain't got to worry about him on these streets no more and they ain't got to be going back and forth, back and forth, right? <laughs> now you got OTMZ. He's like, man, I ain't set him up, da, da, this and that. But it's kind of hard to believe that you're not a snitch, though. A dry snitcher at that. Because first you say you're not street. So I can't even take you serious when you're talking about gangster shit. Because you're not street. That means you never was street. Remind you, these guys are in their early 20s. It's not like they're 30 and 40 and 50. You still say, oh, it's not like that. Like you've been there and done that type of thing. So that's... <laughs> That's, that's letting me know that you play it on this internet. As if you, you know, you got this OTM in front of your name. When people have stuff like that in front of their name and stuff, it's more than one of you. It's a group of you or something. See? Huh? But you thought all this shit was internet shit. This was just some YouTube stuff. He's mad. And he tells the laws this. He's mad because I exposed him still not to look at stuff. What if the police didn't know that? I'm just saying, do it matter though? No, it don't. But I'm just saying, that's sort of like dry snitching. So yeah, people, that's why I'm getting to the point of why people may insinuate that yeah, y'all set the man up. I have no idea. We want to know why you ain't meet the motherfucker. You said you was, you was clapping buns. He said I was clapping buns. I wasn't going to go see him, meet up with him. He was out smacking buns, people, at that time of the hour. And that's fine and dandy. Um, but yeah, that, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So it's a lot of dry snitching here. And who knows if TT90 was set up or not, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is what it is. See, these guys are in their early 20s, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was trying to tell uh, t KP that you got your own YouTube channel now. You, 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 you doing that. You're on the right path. Both of them are still on the right path. But you can't start your YouTube channel off of some messy shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't be like TT Naughty, TT Naughty. Because nobody's going to really want to hear what you got to say, in my opinion, unless it's about who? TT Naughty. Now, when that TT Naughty gets drained out and there's nothing else to say and people don't even care no more about TT Naughty, at least for what you, you guys have to say about him. Because it's pumping now. It's pumping now. You geeking now. You geeking up on, on the internet about T.T. Night. Because y'all the only motherfuckers talking about T.T. Night. You know what I'm talking about? So, and the only motherfuckers that know what's really going on with T.T. Night. So, once that dies down, people. What are you going to have? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just feel like you don't want to start your channel off of talking about some messy shit. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? But you can do what the hell you want to do. You know what I'm talking about? 
But see, then you get backlash like this. Like some people are saying that you set the man up. You feel me? Some people wasn't even feeling everything TC90 was doing until this because they are seeing. Because if you're not street, these other people are. And they see straight through that shit. And they like, hey, it's a possibility TC90 got set up. Huh? Because if he's if he's been watched since February, that's one thing. But if he's texting you and da da this and that, telling you to pull up, he gonna do something to you. Next thing you know, he gets locked up, <laughs> and they instantly take that phone and look at them text messages to see whoever might have possibly called to say, "Hey, check his phone when you get him." I swear. He got text messages in there saying he going to do something to me. See how people, this is how I'm talking about. This is how probably other people are thinking why this situation has happened. Huh? But you thought, some people thought T.T. Enati was all cap and he wasn't going to do shit and he wasn't going to tell you to pull up. It was a setup for whoever was going to show up. That's for damn show. Sure. I'll, I'll give you that. If OTMZ would have showed up, it was a setup for his ass. And not to call the laws or no shit. I think T.T. Knighty was still going to be there and stand on business. Whatever the fuck he had planned. You see? Um, now, if the police, if the law enforcement tells you that this man was going to unalive you. Now, you should take that serious, OTMZ, because you, what you tell the laws? He said something about, oh, I wasn't tripping off him harming me. He wasn't going to do nothing. I, I, you know, and then he says, well, I thought this was just some internet stuff, you know, some internet beef. Like, he wasn't going to go hire the internet beef. Have you not been watching the internet tape? Because people have been dying on lives. Huh? They have been dying over YouTube beef. And you mean to tell me you thought this man was playing with you, boy? You thought he was playing with you, boy? I don't think, I don't think T.T. Knighty was playing with you, boy. And when he get out. If he get out sooner than what you think, it's still going to be some animosity. <laughs> you know, TT90 has no off button, people. <laughs> it's just It just be on, man. Huh? See, all this shit is madness, people. But it has went too far. All right? TT90 in jail. You know what I'm saying? And you could say he brung it on himself. Yeah. Because... TT90 almost 40, and you are threatening some early 20-year-olds. They still babies, bro. Whether, whether you technically grown and you your own man or not, man, you a baby to people that's like 40 plus and almost 40 and shit. You, you, the reason why is because you haven't, I don't care what you've been through, you have not experienced enough, and you ain't been on this earth enough. To tell a motherfucker in their right mind that's of age that you know more than that motherfucker. All right? You don't. And then you playing them back and forth. Then they playing tennis back. Or should I say pickleball? They playing pickleball back and forth, people. Huh? Then the shit got real. TC90 ass get locked up and they happy than a bitch. Well, hey, hey, I would be too if somebody was, uh, if I was kind of shaky about a motherfucker. I ain't gonna say scared of them. But yeah, I would, that would be a big monkey off my back that I ain't gotta worry about. Guess what? Get, and guess why? Because his ass locked up. That's sort of like Finesse. Hey, Finesse got to talking all this shit when Honeycomb Brazy got locked up. And what people say, Finesse set that man up. See, these are the games we should not play. See, when you mix internet with the street, and first of all, you not street, that means you never were street. How can you, you know what I'm saying? How can you be like, oh, no, I did that from 15 to 18 years old. I've been there and done that. You ain't did shit. I don't care what you did. It wasn't enough. You see what I'm saying? But evidently, he wasn't doing that, people, because he, he stressed that. OTMZ stressed that he is not a street dude. So why be out here talking reckless and shit to a street dude? I don't get that shit, people. But like I said, shout out to uh, KP, go subscribe. Shout out to OTMZ, go subscribe. Because if you want to keep up with the TTE Naughty, that's where you might want to go to keep up. But I'm just saying, this is why people think that OTMZ, that, that y'all might have set that man up. And Pop Austin ain't off the table. I stopped watching Pop, Pop Austin. I got a video about it. I said they fucking trash. You see what I'm saying? And the black man don't need your ass. See, y'all 
running up behind these other type of people's asses, bruh. And I know it's like a black man that, that own it too and all this shit. He's, he's, he, 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 hey, hey, hey. He's just one of y'all. He just started the show with this other guy, but he's one of y'all though. You don't understand that? Why don't y'all just get y'all own shit, bro? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, people, this shit crazy as hell. So I guess everybody's happy that T.T. Naughty is locked up. Um, it is what it is. That just goes to show me that T.T. Naughty don't be playing with y'all. Y'all be thinking he playing with y'all. But when it's time to get, get it in, what's your excuse? I was slapping buns. I was getting it in. <laughs> huh? You was getting it in, huh? All right. Well... That's crazy, because if somebody was threatening you, you don't know if they had followed you to that female house or not. You shouldn't even want to put her in harm's way. What if they would have shot the lady apartment up or house up, car up, whatever the case may be, all because you met a chick in the damn club and you took you went to her house to smack them buns. But the whole time, you know damn well somebody want to harm your ass. How could you even bust a nut through that shit? Man, Sitch, I said, what, people? If you know somebody want to kill you, so they say, and, and, but, but look, he say, hey, man, I ain't worried about that. He pump faking. See, don't think like that, people. Let this be a lesson. In conclusion to this video, man, take people serious, man. When they show you who they are, believe that shit, all right? When somebody is threatening you, don't take that lightly. Don't don't be like if you come outside to this store that y'all always go to, I'ma light your ass up. But then you big and bad and go up there like man, I'm gonna forget for to do shit to me and go up there and they light your ass up. Hmm? Now if you a little shaky, I ain't gonna say scared, but if you a little shaky about the whole situation, a person I could see a person calling the police. Huh? I could see a person saying, hey, motherfucker just threatened me to come up to that stone. They think I'm coming to the stone. I want you, I want, y'all need to go up there and handle that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you never know. So does this turn you into some type of informant? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Allegedly. I ain't saying he an informant. I'm just saying. He was dry snitching on his live, though, people. Come on, man. Shout out to them boys, though. But I'm just saying, man, y'all young as hell, man. Y'all need to slow down, bro. You see what I'm saying? Y'all need to slow down, man. And when you, see, this is the thing. If you messing with a guy like T.T. Naughty anyway, and he's like almost 40 and you in your early, early 20s, 20-something, 20 like, you, you, you tripped anyway. That was the wrong move anyway. That's why I always say it. T.T. Naughty shared his spotlight too soon. He was his own everything right there. He didn't need nobody. He didn't need to say, this my partner. He didn't need to do none of that shit. And that's where that's one of the reasons why he fucked up. Huh? Because see, they, they don't see what TT Naughty see. That's the thing. You see what I'm saying? So it hit different. But anyway, people, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. TT Naughty in jail. Do you think he was set up by whoever and whomever it may be? Um, I have no idea, people. Do you think he'll be out soon? Hell, I don't know, because he's already a felon. He was found with that weapon and it was rumored that even his girlfriend went to jail i don't know how true that is though you see what i'm talking about but i'm pretty sure allegedly she was with him that night you see so all of this is crazy but um like i said before man just get your own shit you know what i'm saying but you can't start off your shit talking about no damn tt naughty man because what if tt naughty go to jail for a little minute minute then what you gonna have to talk about like it's a lot to talk about, though, but I'm just saying you didn't start your platform off like that. The people want to see you talking and dissing T.T. Naughty. See how that works? They want you, they want to see you being messy about who? T.T. Naughty. Now, you dislike T.T. Naughty so much that your whole channel is T.T. Naughty. <laughs> make that make sense, people. Message. 